Well, it looks like the drama continues when it comes to the development of X Defiant. In our last video, we talked about the story written by Tom Henderson, talking about the development of X Defiant and how things have just been kind of just all over the place right now in chasing trends and Call of Duty. Well, a new report just went live talking about the toxicity, the crunch, the years of delays, and the boys club that is part of this entire development. Oh, let me tell you, it does not seem to be all sunshine and roses when it comes to the development of X Defiant. Though it looks like we'll be getting one final play test before the release of this game. If you guys like these informative videos, make sure to tap like on the video, subscribe if you want to keep updated with gaming, and let's get right into those details. So what is this boys club that we were talking about earlier in the video? Well, according to this article by Tom Henderson over at Insider Gaming saying the boys club was a name given to a select few of individuals who caused constant problems for the game development. But a couple years later, that grew to dozens or so, both male and female individuals, and it's a term that's evolved into something much more bitter in the studio. Citing that this group is the cause of missed deadlines, crunch, toxic work environments, and multiple people leaving the project. Now there really isn't an exact date of when the boys club was created, though basically it was triggered by the announcement of the game being a Tom Clancy game, right? received huge dislikes. Because if you guys remember, this was supposed to be a Tom Clancy game utilizing the different IPs of various characters within the Tom Clancy universe and put them together into like a hero shooter type of thing. And this was extremely disliked by the community. So much so that 35,000 dislikes compared to 16,000 likes for the announcement of this game back in July of 2021. So right off the rip, this game was having issues when it comes to public perception and popularity and people being excited about playing this game. And obviously after that trailer reveal and the huge dislikes I received, yeah, things needed to change. And several sources stated that the change became apparent around the time of the Tom Clancy brand was dropped back in early 2022. And keep in mind, this game was originally intended to release in the holiday of 2021. The funny thing was that the developer said that this game was still in early access they want you to join in for the beta and there's still early development but the game was supposed to release literally like less than six five months or so after the announcement of the game so the dropping of the tom clancy brand really made a huge difference when it comes to the development of x defiant saying that the boys club was basically allowed to just make unnecessary changes that kind of cause a domino effect despite the warnings from the development team and these boys club managers weren't really the right people to be put into place like yeah managers are meant to tell people what to do but the way that we're doing it and the work ethic and the unpleasant behavior from them has caused a lot of resentment within the development of this game. Sources said that one member has no design experience or people experience and has been given directorial powers because of their personal friendships. And there have been many instances where people have cried, had mental breakdowns, or stopped caring about their well-being because of the toxic environment fostered by the club. And as someone who has worked in the tech industry for a while, I can say, I can relate to this type of feeling. Also, that's very general when it comes to office work environments where like, you gotta know the right people to be put into the right positions. Oftentimes leading to people who are inept or not qualified for a position to be put into it because you know, they have the right connections. And a lot of times these people don't really know how to manage people properly and it shows within this article. A source stated, I frequently was told by following by management, what do you know? You never shipped a game before. If you want to make it to where I'm at, you need to do X, Y, and Z thing. And this is from a former developer who ended up leaving Ubisoft altogether. And you would think, okay, well, maybe just go to a different job within Ubisoft. Well, not exactly, because what he also stated was, I've heard that's pretty bad over there, but I've also heard it's pretty bad everywhere when it comes to working with Ubisoft, which uh, seems to be the case because as you guys do remember a couple years ago, there were these harassment articles that were going live and yeah like former Ubisoft executive arrested after sexual harassment investigations and then showcased the level of harassment from various employees and management within Ubisoft and so this is definitely a culture within Ubisoft. That's not why we can't just treat people with respect 
and you know and be honest with them i just don't get it though the biggest issue that's directly affecting exify and the reason why it hasn't released in so many years is because of the net code and that's because it just doesn't play very well and this issue has been plaguing exify's development for years though this net code issue does look to be an issue that could have been resolved if the upper management decided to listen to the workers about what would cause these issues but it seems like these suggestions were on deaf ears. But why has this netcode issue been such a problem? I mean, like all multiplayer shooter games have netcodes. Like why can't Next Defiant figure this out? Well, it's because of dropping that Tom Clancy name back in early 2022, allowed for the boys club to make a wide amount of changes. And it's understood that it originated from that point and then basically caused a frenzy of new changes, new factions, maps, and other features that need to be added and built from scratch to be added into the game. And what we brought up in our previous video about XFI's development was the trend to chase Call of Duty. And this is more than just like mimicking a few things, like they're directly going after the Call of Duty community. You see, even with their marketing, they utilize Call of Duty content creators to showcase X Defiant, using their creators to a degree so much that they're directly directly in the marketing of the game. Obviously there's nothing wrong about that because you wanna go after your target market that you're going for, which should definitely be Call of Duty players who have had issues with the series for many, many years that don't seem to be changing anytime soon, specifically skill-based matchmaking and various social features. X Defiance going after the Call of Duty crowd so much that it seems like they're just really just making this game as a response video to what Call of Duty is. And it seems like it's coming through when it comes to the development, saying sources said that almost every creative decision for the best part of two years quickly ended up in the same rhetorical question, what would Call of Duty do? Saying they'll nitpick the feature to their liking, similar to Call of Duty, and tell the design sense production teams to come back later once they make the appropriate changes. Even once the team makes those changes, the boys club will come with something else and the process will repeat again for months, all resulting in either a feature finally being implemented into the game or being cut entirely. Now this just kind of sounds straight up like general management kind of stuff like where you send something back, you get your feedback, you make those changes, and then you get other feedback that they didn't have for you before. This constant loop of just redoing work over and over again. This is honestly just like kind of common work stuff. It's, it, it is incredibly frustrating, don't get me wrong. This comes from a lack of vision and knowing what you want out of a product. So with the lack of vision, constant reworks, and the net coding and features still having issues, you can see why XFI has been delayed so many times. And it looks like within a response of all this news going around by XFI, the Twitter account that's been dormant for months now finally said something, but it looks like it's gonna be coming from the play test side of things of being able to play test the net coding even more. But one thing they did state that they actually did miss the deadline saying, while we hope to go live at the end of March, there are still some improvements that need to be tested before that. And this test session will be available Available on all platforms for PS5, Xbox Series S and X and PC. But the thing about this post right here, like yeah, they did say a test is coming soon, but they didn't say when at all. So it could be months from now, it could be next week, we don't really know. This game had so much momentum going for it back last summer when they were doing the official play test for the public. And they were going after that Call of Duty crowd, which at the time were very unhappy with the state of the game, especially in Modern Warfare 2. Some minor changes that were made that the community just did not like at all and very unhappy with the game. Then X Defiance playtest comes out, feels familiar, but different at the same time. So it's not exactly copying it, but definitely has strong roots to Call of Duty. But now it seems like X Defiance might have missed that window as Modern Warfare 3 has been generally well received by the community. The Warzone map is great. The multiplayer plays well. And that core audience that X Defiant was going after, that Call of Duty crowd, might not be as enthusiastic to jump over the play X Defiant as they would be a year ago. Once we get some information on the play test dates, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel and I'll definitely jump in and play and make a review about this game as well because it needs to be talked about. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you tap like and subscribe if you want some more and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.